Bay Torres now, the freshman for the Sooners, coming after Jordan Bowers. Got a 9-9-5. So the Sooners with the lead coming into this final rotation already have three scores, 9-9 nine, nine or better. Big double layout. Nice stretch, laid out position. through to double back. Oh, look at the height off the floor. She has more power. <laughs> Leanne Wong on bars for Florida now. Just being after Trinity Thomas got a 9-9-1-2-5, the final routine of her career. And a 9-9, qualifying round. Danae Fletcher now for Oklahoma. On floor coming after Faith Torres notched another 9-9 or better. It was a 9-9-2-5. Powerful floor routine, powerful music. Top, much better control than in the semifinals. This is huge for Oklahoma. Punch front layout to full. Okay, here's perspective on what's going on in the team competition. Danae Fletcher, a 9-9-2-5 or better, could clinch the championship for Oklahoma here. And they have one athlete to go after her, it would be Danny Seavers. Oh my goodness. Difficult pass right here, two and a half twists. It's very hard to land with control, oh, and she yes. does it to perfection. That might have done it for the Sooners. They have been impeccable today on floor. Will it be enough to hold off surging Florida and Utah? But soak this in. Everyone is enjoying this final floor routine. And it's a party. I just cannot remember a more thrilling final rotation with three teams so close. As I said at the start of the meet, it is their stacked lineups. The way the routines are constructed and prepared, the layers of polish, all there. <laughs> the sophomore from South Dakota. And Fletcher's score is in a 9-9-3-7-5. So regardless of what Seavers gets, the Sooners untouchable. <laughs> Oklahoma scores in for Danny Seavers. It's a 9-9-5. The Sooners untouchable today in Fort Worth, Texas.